Well, I'm currently doing The Shy, and we are happily in our second season. I play the character Ethel Davis. Is she the one? I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. I've heard, is that the grandma with a gun? That's her. That's her. She is ready. Is that the grandma with a gun? She ready. She ready. <laughs> <laughs> that is grandma with a gun. How? And, and this, in this case, it's for protection. Okay. You know, uh, and it very well deserves to be because the violence that is happening to elderly people is unsurmountable in Chicago and around the world. And I'm so glad that Lena Waite and Common and their writing and other writers, by the way, of Chicago influence, of diversity, by the way, uh, is so influential. We're into season two, and I'm gonna give you the scoop. Here we go. I'm in it. She's in season two. I'm in it. That is so huge. <laughs> so why, why should we tune into season two, other than to see uh, Tittle in the middle? That's the only reason. That's the nothing else going on. I we're guess there were. <laughs> but let me tell you, it is going on. The characters are so rich. A lot of development with the main characters, and they are so good. You know, we have some fabulous actors in it, besides myself. The star of the whole show. Oh, stop it, Dan. <laughs> oh. But yeah, you're right. <laughs> so it's, it's just the extraordinary vision of how they're perceiving Chicago. Because it's not all bad. We got a lot of good here. They're getting it right, right? Yeah, you're working, Dan, aren't you? I'm working, yeah, and definitely. You're in Chicago, Thank you, right? Common and Lena Wade. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Thank you, Chicago Film. And then I'm getting, you talk about my latest. I have accepted the prestigious honor of being the Honorary Legacy Award winner for 2018 for the Cisco Center. Awesome. When are you going to get that award? Next Saturday. Oh, really? August 11th, 2018. How did you find out and what went through your mind when they told you about it? I got a letter. It in was a letter? That's classy. It's like Gladys Knight. I got a letter in the mail. <laughs> And uh, after being in radio for over 150 years, yes. and I'm still here, thank God. But this is my best life. I'm living my best life, and I just, I'm, I'm so gracious and, and humble for this award because I've been a member of uh, the Chicago Film Festival here with uh, Cisco since it started. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, it's like 24 years now. Yes, indeed. Is that right? Yeah, this is, uh, yes, it is the 20th. The woman named Barbara started it. The Black I, this, Harvest. Uh, yeah, yeah, there yeah. you go. Isn't there that fantastic? Go. It's really fantastic. But, but getting back to your career, what is the most significant change you've seen as far as, you know, uh, the, the, the treatment, leveling the playing field, the industry attitude towards African Americans? And then where do we have to go? What do we still have to change? Oh, God, we what's got the most positive and what are we, what's our biggest task in the future? Well, I'm going to tell you, I think that uh, African-American women being in uh, leading roles is definitely prominent. Uh, just African-Americans and seeing them in commercials and voiceovers and film and just leveling the advertising playing field. Gee whiz, we use toilet paper, we use toothpaste. <laughs> just as simple as that. We eat Mickey D's, you know. Come on, we need more of that. And, and, and those kind of representations. And yes, it is getting diverse, but I think it should be more. And, and that's not putting anybody out of work. Uh -huh. But I just think that there are more levels of uh, this industry that we can be representative. And, and I tell you, I've worked many sets, many different things. And when I go on a set, I'm actually being more conscious now of diversity looks. Oh, really? And I, I never thought I would get that way. It's like you're happy to have a job right, and yeah. be working. But, you know, and it's not putting anybody out of work and it's having good people working. You got to have a passion for this. This is a hard career. I noticed you, Dan. You've been all over this room tonight. I uh, do what I can. And baby, you are good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and I hope to be your co-host. So here we go. She's 
<laughs> Grandma with a gun. You're not right. We'll shoot him up. So, so how is that character described to you by Common and Lena with? Are they as cool as they seem? They never. In, uh, well, in person, are they as cool as they seem? Oh God, them? yes. Oh God. <laughs> Common is. Say he's just a so sweet. And I met his mom. Oh really? I met her. I met his mom years ago. She had her first book out. And Common, that that mother raised a good son. Yes. I have to say that. And he's just all over the place. Lena Waite is beyond words. <laughs> and she just signed a huge deal with Showtime, a first look deal. So they really like what's going on. And by the way, The Shy is the first hit that they've had within three years. Awesome. Yeah. And in what ways are they getting it right from an African-American perspective? They're getting it right by they're showing what goes on in Chicago. They're showing all kinds because... You know, they said in order to have a good anything, you have to have sex, drugs, and murder. <laughs> that makes it intriguing. I don't know why, but I've seen a lot of things that don't have all those entities. But I just want to say their writing expresses all of that, but it also expresses the good that's in Chicago and the families and how one incident can impact a whole neighborhood for years. Excellent. One shooting impacts so many families, and that was expressed in season one. And it's a coming of age uh, 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 series because of the kids. You know, they say never go against kids and animals. It's true. The <laughs> kids that are in this series are awesome. And I hope that children that want to be in theater and want to be in the arts really get a notion of and I taught that with kids in art and I, I stand on the shoulders of many people that are have expressed themselves and gone on to be famous so it's, it's, it's a poignant piece and it shows what Chicago can do and also I'm involved to express my range of acting Southside Yes. I've got a little skit in that. Why should we watch you in Southside? Because I'm there. Of course you're there. Okay. Why should we watch Southside other than to see La Doña? Well, it's a lot of funny stuff that's going on. I did the sizzle about three years ago, and they tell me that it really impacted people to, to watch the show. So now it's going to be on uh, Comedy Central, picked it up, Southside. And supposedly it's debuting in October of 2018. Is there an actor, a young man named Eric Lane in that? I don't know if Eric is in it, but he was in it with me with Trapped in the Closet. I think, okay. You know, oh, okay. I'm Rosie the Nosy Neighbor. You've got a nickname and a rhyming nickname for everything. I got names, baby. I'm Ethel Rosie and soon to be another character in uh, Empire. That's okay. So Empire, Southside, The Shy, La Donna. La Donna is in everything. Yes, the lady is in everything. So what other stories? My last question. We're getting a lot of stories. The African-American community, you know, the bond and the togetherness is coming out. What still remains to be told? What would you like to see told I or think, retold? I think everybody needs a good cooking dish from my Cooking with Tittle show on uh, Can TV. Every Thursday at 7 p.m. and Fridays at 2 p.m. I write and produce my own cooking show. And I think people need nourishment, they need spiritualism, and they need to be physical in the sense that what they do, mindfulness of what they do and how they do it and how and what impact their legacy is going to be on the human nature, on the human spirit. Fan. The human spirit is a very strong element. And, you know, you go to auditions every day and you get rejected. But you can't go home feeling that way. Without you, a doubt. You know, you know it takes support. You got to have a good, and you got to have people around you, surrounding you, that will tell you the truth about things. My family, <laughs> I think I'm a good actor because of Red Fox. Telling uh, me, God bless him. Fred yeah. G? Okay. Yeah, Red Fox once told me, uh, when I went up to him, I'm like, oh, he came to see this play I was in called A Change Is Gonna Come. And I was like, oh, was that good? Was it good? He said, yeah, you're a good actor. You may need to lose a little weight. But he says, never ask that question again. 
He says, because if you were born black, you can act. Oh. I'm like, he says, the question you want to say is, was I great? <laughs> <laughs> was I good? Was I great? <laughs> the immortal words of Red Fox. I forgot that in my whole life. And I've never doubted my acting career since then. Fantastic. And last thing, how are they going to honor you and your acting career? What's coming up? Uh, next Saturday, August 11th, I've been nominated for the Gene Siskel Legacy Award at the Film Center. And I swear, I don't know what I want to say, but as a disc jockey, you know we're never lost for words. Oh, yeah, yeah, she's going to think of something. <laughs> Dan you Patton know, with Real Chicago with Miss LaDonna Tittle in the middle, right? You're right. It's so good, Dan. Can you say goodbye to everyone for me? It's never a goodbye. It's only good night. Good night. We'll catch you later. And I'm ready for my close-up. <laughs>